Can I tell you very quickly about a documentary which is out this week as well? Which is called Ultra... I'll be, I'll be quick. You can take as long as you like, as long as it's no longer than three minutes. No, it won't be even that long. So it's Ultra Sway, which is a documentary about the fashion designer Holston. You know, as in Holston Gucci, Fia Rucci. Did you, do you know about his stuff? About Holston Pills. Holston, yes. No, or, yeah, should we, should we have the Budweiser versus Budweiser <laughs> discussion again? And it's one that, of the... That was, that was quite good because there's a clear winner. Yes. Thank you. The thing about this documentary is it's directed and presented by Whitney, Su- Whitney Sudler Smith, okay? And the character of Holston, who I d- about whom I knew nothing at all Whitney because... Whitney Sudler, Sudler the Noodler. Smith. Sudler yeah. the Noodler Smith, that's right. And it's produced actually by Anne Gorso. Anne Gorso is very interesting. Anne Gorso directed a Anne number Gorso of... Anne Gorso the Torso Smith. No, no, she's a woman. You can't call her Anne Gorso the Torso. Actually, she's very, very, inter- very interesting person. She was an editor for Coppola, and then she made a bunch of straight-to-video erotic thrillers with a sort of slightly vampire undertone. And she's directed, she's um, produced this documentary, which is about Holston, and it involves, you know, interviews with Liza Minnelli, who apparently was his best friend, and, uh, you know, it's the guys from Chic, and lots of stuff with Studio 54. And the story of him is quite interesting. It's one of those stories about, you know, everything's brilliant, everything's fabulous, all, go, you know, Studio 54, next thing you know, signs up with J.C. Penney, everything goes completely peak tong, and it all falls apart. The problem with it is, is that the, there's the documentary about this guy, Holston, but it's presented by this guy, Whitney Sudler-Smith, I promise you. I sat there watching the first half hour of this thinking, is this a gag? Is this a gag? Is, is, is this a kind of mockumentary? Every time you see him, not only does he have a different outfit, different haircut, different hair colour... And he keeps going on about how he's obsessed with the 70s and how the 70s fashion. And then he talks to his mum about what was it about the 70s that he loved so much. You think, I'm sorry, this other guy, Holston, right, who I have um, now, I'm quite into, I don't care about you and your hair and your car and your... It's, who's the, who is this documentary about? And what this really needed was somebody going in there with a big pair of scissors and saying, well done, Whitney. Now, we're just going to cut you out of this completely because you aren't a part of this story. Everyone else is a part of this story. Liza Minnelli's answers to these questions are quite interesting. The questions themselves aren't interesting. I genuinely spent half an hour thinking, this is a gag, right? This the the guy the guy pulling up in the car and getting it that's a gag no not a gag it's actually got to the point that you can't tell the difference between mockumentaries and documentaries anymore. What is the world coming to? What is the world coming to? 